What is going on, everybody? Welcome to a brand new playthrough. I shouldn't really say brand new, considering this game's been out for like 10, 15 years. Yes, we're going to be playing the remake of Shadow of the Colossus. This just came out early, about, or yeah, earlier this week. Um, I personally have not played it since it was on the PlayStation 2. In fact, the last time I played it, when it was on the PlayStation 2. I'm looking forward to this. I remember the story. I remember the plot. I remember definitely the first Colossus. But probably not much after that. It's been such a long time. And initially I was very, I'll say, weary about picking this up. Um, I'm not a huge fan of remakes. I know that that is a new thing that is becoming more and more prevalent. And it's really starting to make me nervous from a consumer standpoint. That uh, why would a company like Microsoft, Nintendo... Xbox make consoles backwards compatible when they can just re-release them for a new console and get a whole new revenue stream from people yet again for content they've already purchased. That's why I've like kind of semi made a decision to like no longer turn in any of my consoles because like hey maybe one day I want to you know boot up my Xbox three or my yeah my Xbox three sixty or my PlayStation two and you know whatever play something on there play fuck maybe I want to play Zeno Gears on my PlayStation two again as opposed to buying it for. 10 or 15 or 20 dollars when it's on the PlayStation Store. So, when this game was first announced, I was, like I said, I was very weary about it. I thought it was just like, oh, it's just a graphical update, whatever. It's why, like, you know, when the PlayStation 3 one was announced, I was like, okay, I mean, whatever, I guess it's just, just an update. Yeah, sure, it looks better and it's got 1080p graphics and shit like that, blah, blah, blah. But, at least with this, it's not just, oh, it's a graphical update. This is a, this is essentially an overhaul. They, like, totally gutted this thing from the ground up. It's like when you see those videos of, like, someone finding, like, an old, like, 1976 Corvette that's been in, like, someone's random-ass barn for 30 years, and it's just been sitting there collecting dust and dry-rotting. And then they go through and, like, as opposed to just giving it a new coat of paint, a new coat of paint... They, like, go through, pull everything out, screw by screw, put it, like, you know, take it apart, clean it up, polish it, put it all back together, give it a whole new, basically, set of life. And that's exactly what they did here. I mean, like, just looking at it right now, the game looks great. Looks good. Looks good, Blue Point. You done good. So I'm not going to spoil anything story-related for anyone that may or may not have seen watched this or played this before. Um, and also, being that it's only 40 bucks. I, I was half expecting it to be 60, like when they announced, like, L.A. Noir that was going to be remastered on the Switch, or, um, you know, Dark Souls that's going to be remastered. Um, you know, I was anticipating, like, a $60 price tag. I'm more inclined to buy, uh, completely, or, uh, uh, re-release games with completely updated graphics and gameplay for a slightly cheaper price. I'm more inclined for that. But yet, I still have my, yeah, there it is. Shadow of the Coloss Colossus. I actually still have my PlayStation 2, my original PlayStation. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's do settings real quick just to make sure that we have... Uh, this is all... Uh, audio... Wait, controller audio? Choose where sound is intended for the controller's main output. Let's do main output. Just because I don't want I don't want anybody to miss anything. It's probably when what's his name talks to me, the god or whatever. Uh, display. We did all this. Yeah, I'm not playing this on 4K. Sorry, everybody. Not cool enough to have a 4K TV just yet. Okay. Uh, language. Let's try this. Subtitles English. Okay. Cool. All right. I think we're good to go. New game, please. Uh, let's do normal. See how much of this is I remember. Definitely looks good. Yeah, so I don't have a PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, and I've been meaning to get one. But the first priority is getting a 4K television. Because what's the point of getting a PlayStation 4 Pro if you're not going to have a 4K TV to enjoy it? So we play the waiting game. I'm also anticipating what... Where are we right now? We're in February, which means E3 is in what? Four months? Three months? Four months. Cause it's, in, it's the first week of June, if I remember correctly. 
Oh, steady there, you fella. Uh, I'm anticipating Sony to announce a new, at least announce a new generation console. Um, I mean, I would imagine, and again, this is 100% speculation based on just the way that the video game console cycles go. I would imagine they will announce it, but it will not be available for sale until um, fall slash holiday season of 2019. So we'd still be like a year and a half out. I can't imagine, I mean, it's very rare that you see a brand spanking new console that gets released within four months of announcement. Or six months of announcement. Because, yeah, they usually try to drop them around November. Switch being the oddball title. Or I guess not title, but the oddball system. So I've heard, I know, I've heard that there's two endings to this, but I've never really done the due diligence or investigative work to find out if there are two endings. Because obviously there's one ending that I recall, and then I heard there's a second ending. But I just, if there is a, if there is a second ending, I don't know how to get it. And being how good this game was, or let me rephrase, being how good this game is and how good it looks, I really wonder if now they're going to try to do an Ico remaster, um, since Ico was the another game done by the uh, same development company. These are the same guys that did, what, the, what was the one with the, the bear cat? I don't remember. It came out like a year ago and it was just very mediocre and bland, it didn't work too well. It's like some giant winged cat with a horn that would follow you around with like rooster claws. It was like Baba Yaga, the cat. Definitely a huge graphical update from PlayStation 2. And one of my biggest gripes, ugh, and she's disappeared. <laughs> it's an illusion. <laughs> One of my biggest gripes from the PlayStation 2 version, um, not to say that the PlayStation 2 one was bad, but one of my biggest problems was that it was incredibly, it was very graphically intense for the time. If I remember correctly, I th they maybe, I know it was in development for way long, something like six years or five years. I think it was, was it supposed to be like a PlayStation 1 release, and then like they redid it like two or three different times, and it finally came out at the end of the PlayStation 2 life cycle? I would like to bring back the souls of the dead, please. It's never stopped me before. Oh, it's forbidden? Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I was hiding in the cracks all along. So if I remember correctly, the protagonist was unnamed. Same thing with his girlfriend. But I think the while the horse was never officially named, I think they called him Argo. Because that whenever you call or summon the horse, he always says Argo. So I don't know if he's... I'm assuming that's the horse's name as opposed to just being like, Hey, come here. Uh-oh. Hey, Zelda. Or Link. Come on, ghost people, you want a piece of this? And you see ya. Oh, that's bright. A lot of these cutscenes I kinda don't remember. But, just cause I don't remember it doesn't mean it didn't happen. My memory, oh god, I have the worst memory in the world. Don't 
me before. Alu Yula. Oh, he does speak. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know if they were speaking an actual, if this is an actual language or if it's purely fictional and made up. Can you find it for me? It's up there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that maiden soul, that's correct. If she was sacrificed, she must, uh... And he came here by horse, I would imagine that she's probably got a nice smell going on right now. Really? I love the... So, the... Obviously, the spoken language sounds like some type of Asian, I don't know, Japanese, Chinese, Mongolian, pick a language mixture of of spoken dialogue, but yet the subtitles has them speaking like it's ye old English. I'll destroy them all. Watch this and just start swinging his sword. Colossi. You sure it's not Colossuses? Like forty pound price. None of this matters anymore. All right, we'll get to get to get to slaying. Cut the staying and get to slaying. They definitely seem to have changed the voice modulation in this Dorman character. Originally I thought it was just one guy's voice, but it sounds like it's modulated voices now. Where's my horse? Alright, we're playing. Look at me go! Now, now get the fuck out of here! Go, all he has to do is say, go home and get your shine box. Okay. X to jump. Okay. Uh, how do I get on my horse? It's sunlight place. Hold R1 and look to where the light beam focuses. Okay. Uh, nope. Okay. We, we're having a little trouble here. Okay. How do I get, how do I, how do I get you to go? Nope. Uh, triangle. Pull the reins with L to stop, pull L towards you. Okay. Then R1. Is it. Oh, camera. <laughs> Let's slow down. Holy shit. Why can't I control this? Okay. Holy fuck. What the hell is up, camera? Alright, so let's go over this way. I remember playing a demo for the. Oh my god, why? I remember playing a demo for this. There was a. Uh, uh, to display the map. Oh, there's a map now? Oh, okay. Well, that does me no good. 
Yeah, I had a demo for this in something. Maybe it was like PlayStation Magazine or it came with something else. But yeah, I remember playing the demo a lot because it was just one boss. It was just the first boss. It was like, demo over, that's all you get. And there's, I think, 16 total Colossuses? Everyone's a little bit different, which is great. That's exactly what I want. Okay, so this is where I need to go. So there's going to be a Colossus up there. So we press X to get off. We can start climbing. Oh, hold R2 to grab onto things. I'm grabbing. Let me grab. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to grab over here. You can definitely see that it's... Some of the, uh, R2 and L to climb. How, why can't I climb up this fucking thing? Okay, what, what is going on? Climb up. Thank you. Alright, now we're cooking with cadmium. We have some of the, uh, motions of this character, this unnamed protagonist. Definitely a little wonky. Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's pause the episode right here. We're just getting into the game. We'll pick things up in the next video. My name is Ben Jorna, everybody. That's J-O-A-R-N-A. I'll see you all next time.